So Don, what are we doing today? We're gonna see a passive home today. What Andrew? is a passive home? A passive home has no mechanical parts in it like a typical home does. There's no heating system in this house. Not like passive aggressive like, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, I love you, I love you. I hate you. I love you. Close to it, close to it. Don't mess with me. This could happen to you. All right. Greenhammer built a special home and a concept that comes from Germany. This is nearly a net zero energy home. Stefan's gonna help us out and gonna save me from you. Who's Stefan? He's the builder. Is he green? He's very green. So Stefan, tell me about Green Hammer. How many homes have you built? Well, um, Green Hammer, we was established about 10 years ago, and we focus on ultra high performance homes. You know, our emphasis on ultra high performance led us to this pathway of passive house. So and passive house is, is, comes from a concept out of Germany. The physicist in the 1990s, this guy Wolfgang Feist and his super party team of, of uh, physicists and building science geeks, put the, um, the ultra super insulated um, high performance building into a real science. Wow. Basically you build these super performance thermoses with a really good ventilation system. Right. And you eliminate the need for a mechanical furnace. So the heat recovery ventilator is mm -hmm. responsible for keeping the air changes in the home. Clean, fresh air. So this is gonna take fresh air from outside and exhaust the stale air from inside the building. And there's a really neat core here and what this is doing is, it's actually passively doing this, we're going to take the heat out of the air that's leaving the building and dump it into the air that's coming in. It's about 95% heat recovery efficient. There's no heating unit in here, it's just extracting the heat out of the air wow. that's already in the building. So in the air tightness, the windows have something to do with it. Yeah, absolutely. Let's look at the special windows you have yeah. in this house. These are triple pane. Yeah, these are pretty fantastic. It's called a tilt turn window. Just for security, but also ventilation. You can do the, the tilt action wow, here. Wow, that's very good. And that's throughout the entire house? Yeah, throughout the entire house. This is pretty standard in Europe. Now, as far as the insulation system in the home, what are you doing to stop thermal bridging or the transfer of heat and cold into the house? So this building actually has two walls, mm -hmm. essentially. There's this interior two by six structure, and then outside the building, we've hung this two by four wall system. You can see um, this outer shell. That's all insulated with cellulose right now. And there's a plywood air barrier in between and that's all been taped and sealed. And that keeps this building super, super airtight. This will get a netting essentially very similar to what you see on your box spring bed. Mm -hmm. um, it's just clear netting and then we blow in cellulose under three and a half pounds density. What do you think the heating and cooling bills will be in a house like this? Uh, well, this one's net zero energy, so really shouldn't have any. <laughs> exactly, um, <laughs> it should be zero. It should be zero, exactly. So Alex here is a very interesting character. You're an import like me from Europe, right? Yes. I'm from Germany, German, I believe, yeah. uh -huh. which sure. makes him very special. <laughs> German people are extraordinarily special, aren't they? Of course, yeah, just like the Brits. Yes, thank you. <laughs> it's nice, but kind kindred spirit. <laughs> So what he's done in all his brilliance is he's brought over to the United States some German technology for this green construction process. But I've got to be honest with you, when I look around here, I see styrofoam, I see normal things that you'd see on a, on a building site, right? Yeah, that's correct. I mean, we just have more of it, basically. All right. This is what's in the basement, right? Yeah, exactly. So as you can see, this is the stuff that's around the foundation, you know, usually you would see thin stuff and we have thick stuff. So, so this sits right on the dirt at the bottom? Correct. And then we put the house on top. So it compresses? It doesn't, no. It's actually um, made to resist that force. This doesn't compress. Jump on it. You know, jump, like come jump. Come to you, come here, come oh, Jeez. <laughs> Anglo-German <laughs> relations now. See? It works. Okay, after three, I, after three, jump with okay. me. Okay, are, are you warm? Two, are you warm? Three. Okay. Hey. All right. So. Doesn't budge. This is not the outside wall here. There's another one, the other side of this, right? Exactly. We basically have two walls. We have like an inner inner wall, pretty standard two by six wall, like you would see everywhere. And then we have an, a curtain wall hung outside to make it twice, twice as thick. And then of course, on the outside of this particular and very delightful property is this, which is cedar, cedar siding, right? Correct. Yeah. Love the smell of cedar. Do you like yeah. the smell of cedar? Yeah, it's great. You know, That's you can put it in your closet and you have, you know, one heavy in your box in there. I think it was taking, I was thinking of taking it to bed with me, actually. Okay. i give you a shorter piece, maybe. Would you? Yeah. Okay. Those of you that are sitting there shaking, thinking about, sounds good, but a lot of dollar signs, a lot of money is adding up every time they move from one panel to the next. 
you might be surprised to realize that the difference in building this way in cost, as long as you're not going too extreme in custom, one end of the spectrum or the other, if you're kind of in the middle there, it's around about 10% in additional cost. So on a $200,000 house, it's about another 20 grand. That is not a huge amount of money, given the fact that the bills here are that much. Yeah, and, and you know, and, and the, the idea is since you have no furnace, you have like that money extra to put into the envelope to put, you know, more insulation. So that kind of offsets a little bit of the extra cost. But you could also use the extra money to come with me to London and buy some decent clothes. You know, I don't know, but you know, I'd rather be warm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's time for a beer. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 we can uh, beer trinken here on the Ecke. Yeah, no. Get it. <laughs> yeah, okay.